So, I know the Book of Mormon is true. <laughs> <laughs> and I know it because I love the story of Lehi's dream. And I never love hearing about anybody's dreams, ever. <laughs> uh, so that's a miracle to me. Uh, like, can you imagine if that dream has been re had been recounted by like anyone besides like a true prophet of God? It'd be like, guys, 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 guys. I had the craziest dream last night. No, listen, you were in it. You were in it. Listen. To me. <laughs> so we were in this big field, right? And there's like this weird river and like weird jinxy mists of darkness. And then there was like this glowing tree with all this magic fruit. And like nobody said it, but we all kind of knew that if we ate it. We'd like live together forever or something. <laughs> so like I'm, I'm like trying to get you guys to like eat the fruit, but then there's this building and like how do I even split? It's like this giant Costco. <laughs> there's all these people in it and they're like making fun of us. Isn't it always weird how there's these like people in your dream and you're like who even are these people? But then anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> So they're like yelling at us and Lane and Lemuel I think start like going over to them and I'm like guys just like hold on to the rod. I forgot to tell you, there's like a rod. It's a rod. rod. It's like this rod that goes all the way through the forest and goes straight up to the tree. And if you hold on to the rod, then you get to the magic tree. And if you let go of the rod, then you fall into the river or something. And I think Lemuel and Lemuel fell in the river and then I woke up and had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Like, what do you think that means, though? Like, should I eat more fruit, or...? <laughs>